what I'm up to today, I've got a new fridge. Hey guys, welcome back to yet another episode for Jetfish. So it's a bit bright out that way, isn't it? I don't know what's what's going on there with the camera settings or anything like that. Anyway, check this bad boy out, seriously. I mean, look at this, seriously. You know, you've got a little freezer up there, that's cool. Uh, you've got the door with all your bits and pieces there, so we just put milk and all that sort of cool bits and pieces through there, sauces and stuff. In order to get this one in, um, I've got a few bits and pieces I need to do inside the canopy. Let's duck out there and have a quick squeeze. Sorry about moving around so much. Oh, it's a bit bright. Ah. All right, so the internals of the Mitz alloy canopy. So uh, this is where the old fridge slide and fridge would have been. That's quite a large bit of uh, bit of space there. I need to take out that, that back section there. That's actually got to come out. So there's three, um, if you can see them or not, there's three little cap head uh, bolts there. The Allen keys are only four and a half mil. So we'll get rid of those, and um, then we should be right to, to bolt this bad boy in. Oh man, that is so bright. All right, here we go, we'll go back inside. So what I'm gonna do with this one first off is I actually wanna change where I've got the um, handle, the door latch, yeah, that loop. <laughs> so we're gonna change where the latch is. I want it on the other side, mainly because I can open it then, instead of having it open here, and I've got the rest of the kitchen stuff over there. I wanna open it from here, so it comes out and um, yeah, I, I reckon they'd be better. So let's get that happening. change the handle over. I can't really yeah. <laughs> pull it from one side. Yep, so I'll move the handle down. Um, just gotta figure out how that goes, but nah, we'll work it out. Cable all terminated, ready to go. So that's got the Anderson plug on it. Um, yep, yeah, red to red, black to black. <laughs> all the good stuff. She's ready to go. So before I chuck this in, the last thing I need to do is, there's a, like I said, there's a section at the back uh, of that whole sort of fridge recess area inside the canopy. I'm going to remove that because there's a space there that I'm going to use um, at a later stage. Not too far down the track though. Um, I think it's already about. It's almost like nearly a foot. Like there's, there's a fair bit of room there too. So, what I'm actually thinking is, I could use that space for a uh, like a, a cooker or something like that. So, it'd be quite handy anyway. So, I'm gonna go in, remove that. section all out. Um, it's going to give me a bit more access in behind the fridge, well between the fridge and the, and the back of the drawer on the right hand side. But um, before I go and put the fridge in or whatever else, I'm going to grab the Dyson. Poor old Ranger, he's out the back there, he's alright. But anyway, I'm going to grab the Dyson and suck up all the crap that's left over, you know, dust and all that sort of stuff there. But um, can you imagine how much shit I get into if I had a missus right now? <laughs> he's in the Dyson in the back of the cruiser. 
I don't care anyway. <laughs> but, um, whoop, there we go. She's good to go. All right, let's go and suck up all this crap out of the back of the cruiser. With the Dyson. I mean, technically it is a house anyway. It's kind of, you know, like it's a, it's a house on wheels, so she's all right. I've just flashed up the fridge. It's all plugged in, sitting, I guess, roughly about where it's going to sit. Um, I haven't actually closed this door to see if this is going to sit right there yet or we need to push it back a little bit further, but where it is at the moment seems pretty stable. I just need to, you know, sort of mount it down to the actual canopy base itself. Best part about the mid alloy side of things with the canopies is that you get these uh, extrusions all the way through. So you can use the channels for using channel nuts and brackets and bits and pieces, little angle lines and stuff like that um, to, you know, to mount your stuff down into. That's the best part I love about the mid alloy canopies is that they are completely modular. So, um, I'm gonna play around with this for a bit. I'm gonna see what room I've actually got. And funnily enough, between the fridge and the drawer itself at the moment, I've got a fair bit of space. So, I could even move this drawer over a little bit further, probably a bit other, well, I don't know. Yeah, I reckon I could probably move it over a good sort of 30 mil or so. Um, that may actually give me enough room to uh, run the pantry. That could be a game changer as well. So, anyway. I'm going to stuff remember this, get some food into that. The fridge is looking a bit bare at the moment. I'm going to have to, to put something on it, something like that, the old jet fish sticker or something. So I've got a couple of brackets I've made up. So basically this will sit along the side of the fridge and uh, these two holes here, they'll just, um, that'll bolt down into the channels of the actual, of the mitts canopy in the, in the floor. That's right, I get my words out sometimes, a bit of an issue with that, but anyway. So yeah, these, this will go up against the fridge, screw into the fridge there. Um, I've checked everything to make sure that you can actually just sort of screw it into the fridge, just on the sides, uh, down the bottom. So. Normally you've got a fridge cage and that sort of mounts into the side around the front. Uh, there's a bit of a fascia kit there that uh, this fridge can actually be mounted into a little caravan or camper trail or something like that. So I'm trying just to utilize that point, um, noting I don't actually have a fridge cage just yet. Uh, I'll hit the guys up at Mid Alloy about that one probably in the next week or two, um, noting that I'm going on a trip three weeks tomorrow. My God, I can't believe that. Three weeks to go. So getting this fridge in is key. So camera's about to go flat. I've only got about 2% left on that. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna hook in while I can and get as much of this done and get this camera back on charge. I'm also gonna uh, run the, uh, the two cables that are the, uh, the temperature sensors. So there's two of them that come with the MITS um, electrical setup for Red Arc. I'm pretty sure the energy drive side of things comes with it as well. So you're gonna have one inside the freezer and one inside the fridge. So when you use your Red Vision app, you can actually hook in by Bluetooth and see what your temperature's doing. So. Pretty cool, I like that stuff. So while the camera's about to go flat, uh, I'm gonna hook it into this. I'll see you guys once I get a bit more charge in the camera. fridge in, she's all plugged in and turned on. I actually took out the whole back panelling of the uh, of, of all the electrics, not of the fridge, but of uh, where the full Red Arc installation is on the back wall, the front wall of the canopy. Um, I'll put in a couple extra, well, extra 12 volt supplies as well. I've got some lights I'm gonna run on the sides of the canopy at the top and then something at the back as well. So uh, yeah, thanks very much to Light Force for sending those lights over to me. They will be definitely put to good use very, very soon. So. Just gonna tighten this last little bolt up here over the mounts. Uh, my little mounts work perfectly. So pretty happy with that. Get him nice and tight. 
That way the fridge won't move anywhere. Shouldn't move anywhere. It's tight as well down the back. All right, oh, hang on. I'm pretty sure that one there is all good to go as well on this side. Right. Yep, all right, sweet. All right, get the trusty uh, Dyson back out. Again, there's so many things on vacuuming up out here in the canopy. All right, here we go, the piece de resistance. So that's the that's one bracket that I've sort of made up and it's all secured into the side of the fridge there. And same thing on the other side. You can see out to the side there. This is all, uh, all secured in. All with the red arc there. So where are we? What are we drawing at the moment? We're drawing about three amps. Easy. Nice I'll open up the fridge. Look at that. Perfect. No problems at all. This is going to get filled up very, very shortly. Let's have a look inside the fridge. This is what I actually carry in at the moment. Beers and stuff will normally go sort of through here and other food and stuff. Fruit and veg down the bottom in the slide out there. The freezer. I think she's got ice cubes and a few hamburger patties and a couple of steaks and some snags in there at the moment. The, uh, the old toucan, so my daughter loves these uh, Procedos. She calls them toucan because, well, it's got a toucan on the front there. Don't you? Thank you. Hey, 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 too early for that. <laughs> you get a toucan later on. But, yeah, that's, that's basically it. So what, what i found really, really handy with this fridge so far is just ducking out of Bunnings or even Kmart and grabbing yourself a couple of these little, little trays. Um, keep stuff like your soft drinks in it. Stop them rolling around the fridge. Now, this tip was from Cam from uh, Wild Touring. And uh, honestly, Cam, you're a legend, you're on it. These things from your craft beer, hold onto them when you take it, take your beers out because if you've got loose beers, you can chuck a few, you know, put these over the top of the can and it'll hold them all together still. So they're still good, don't throw them out. Cam, you're a legend. So I've still got a few bits and pieces in here I really want to try and iron out. Like I've put the coffee machine just here at the moment. I've moved it from down, down from up on top of the bench there. Gives me more access to my food bags. Um, so that's, that's a bonus. The other side is I could move this drawer over, say about 30 mil that way, and I'll be able to fit in the mitts alloy slide out pantry, but the coffee machine won't fit in there. Not such a big deal, because I just moved the coffee machine back up there, uh, and yeah, just chuck in that, that pantry. So some of that food there could then go in the pantry, a few other bits and pieces as well, but who knows? So, what do I reckon? Out of 10, look, 10 out of 10, 100%. So this is the 130 litre. I know that you can get an 85 litre, and I think you can even get a smaller one as well. I'm not sure. Um, have a look at the Bushman's website anyway. All that information will be there for you. So the other thing I need to do with this fridge now is I've got these, uh, these organisers here. These are pretty cool. Um, but I need it stuck on there somehow. So not quite sure how I'm gonna get that done. I think this one here is a navigator one, and they've got um, you know stuff you can go through. <laughs> My daughter. <laughs> what are you doing, La? Just walking around, just chilling. All right. So, you know, look, it's super, super handy, um, but I like to normally keep these on the backs of the seat and stuff inside. Um, so I'm going to need to get something here. Um, chuck it on the fridge there, be all right. I've also got another one up there in the top of the, on the side of the canopy there at the back. Uh, it's got your know, oils and spray oils and stuff like that, herbs and spices. So if I can find one that goes on to here, um, that'd be fantastic. Especially before this, uh, this upcoming trip to Queensland. So let's stay tuned for that one, guys. That's gonna be epic. That's gonna be an amazing trip, I can't wait. So Fraser Island, Morton Island, uh, far north Queensland, looking to get up there as well. Um, I'll be at the Brisbane National Four Wheel Drive Show, uh, 17th, 19th of March, so that's gonna be pretty cool. So hopefully get to meet a lot of you people over on the East Coast as well. So that'll be just amazing. If you're in Brisbane at the time, come down to the Mitts Alloy Stand, come say good day. Alrighty, uh, that's about it, guys. Look, I'm gonna wrap this one up. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you uh, on the next video. Cheers.